2020 anchor Elizabeth Vargas is opening up about her many years struggling with alcoholism. There are days when you wake up and you feel so horrible that the only thing that will make you feel better is more alcohol. Vargas sat down with Diane Sawyer to talk about her crippling anxiety with doing live TV and how it led to her addiction. Good evening. We begin tonight with two rescue efforts underway. I remember anchoring the evening news and every single night when the floor manager, when she would count down, I hated it. Two minutes. Two minutes. And, you know, my heart would start pounding. One minute. Now I'm like hyperventilating. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And literally the studio, the ed edges of my vision would start to swim a little. And if you watch carefully at the beginning of every newscast, you will see me lean in and I grip the desk with my right hand. Good evening from Los Angeles. And on my left hand, which I'm holding my pen, I'm taking my engagement ring and I'm digging the edge into my thumb. She said she almost died. I, uh, on one occasion had what I know to be a lethal level of alcohol in my blood system. And um, even that didn't scare me into stopping. Vargas details her secret life in a new memoir, Between Breaths. All I can tell you is when you're in the cycle of this disease though, that it, it, it doesn't matter how much you have or how little you have. I, it didn't matter, it, it, it leveled me. It knocked me flat on my butt. She also expresses regret for the impact her alcoholism has had on her two sons. I would die for my children, Diane. I wouldn't give a nanosecond's worth of thought to die for my children, to kill for my children. But I would die for my children. But I couldn't stop drinking for my children.